Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 31st of January to the 6th of February 2022. There's some quite diverse energy and some very fresh, sparky energy coming in this week as we begin the week with a new moon in Aquarius. This starts the Chinese New Year and this is the year of the tiger, the water tiger I believe. So we'll be looking at some real speed and confidence and the ability to strike just at the right moment. So an essence of good timing there, which when we place that within the age of Aquarius, this could be something that we've been building up to for ages, but now the time is right. Um, with a single strike like a lightning bolt, then profound and positive change can happen. So the new moon is at 12 degrees Aquarius at 6.44 a.m. UK time. To add to the backdrop, last week we had the Sun square Uranus, centering us in unconditional love and ancient wisdom, so that we're building on very strong and pure vibrational foundations. And this week we'll also have the Sun conjunct Saturn, so the Sun and Saturn meet together on Friday, which will seal our vision that's coming from the core into a plan that we can now act upon. And the other Aquarian aspect this week is also Mercury turns direct at the end of Capricorn and will move back into Aquarius, which is where the retrograde started. So we're really getting a workshop here with the backdrop of Aquarius generally. So the Sun is moving through the sign of Aquarius. At this time of year, we start to expand our consciousness. We're coming out of our winter cave. We're seeing the excitement of the clear light and life returning to the planet. Starting to have a vision going forwards of where we want to place our vital life force energy. Having gone in and reassessed and revised and cleansed. So we're swimming in those vibrations of Aquarian energy at a time that is the age of Aquarius and then with all of these planetary transits and aspects bringing to the fore the Aquarian energy. So really important to look to see where Aquarius is in your chart. It's there for everyone, but I feel at this time it will give you a really good idea of where to put your energy, what your vision is, where you can direct yourself for maximum effect. And that's in the outside world, but in the esoteric, who you really are, what your true essence is, and how to come home to self. So astrology is a wonderful Aquarian study as it's our place in space and time. We don't have to be fitting in with a linear timeline, comparing ourselves to others, repeating the same mistakes, living in the past. Once you learn your soul plan, your chart, you get a much bigger idea of who you are, why you came here and how you can take all that you are and direct it to live a purposeful life. So maybe apply yourselves to astrology this month with all this Aquarian activity, activating that ancient art. So the new moon on Tuesday, 12 degrees. If you can find that in your chart to see exactly where that's happening for you. This is really an activation feeling. We've had a very slow year with the ox. Now we leap forward with the tiger spring-loaded and laser-focused. So it's going to be very important from now on to have connected with your passion deep within and to have the confidence to act quickly and decisively when opportunities arise. This should be good news because we have had a couple of years of necessary slowdown to get us out of the rat race, out of the limited thought processes out of old beliefs and behaviours and connecting to our uniqueness. That's really what Aquarius is about. We're all here, but we're all a unique contribution to the all. So very exciting new moon starting there early in the morning on Tuesday the 1st. I'm really getting this year off with a roar. By Thursday, Mercury turns direct at the end degrees of Capricorn, which have been absolutely paramount this last couple of years, we've had lots of conjunctions at the end of Capricorn, helping us let go, helping us see what was restrictive, helping us to find our own core strength in order that we can walk forward into the Aquarian energies. 
So Mercury turning direct there will return back into Aquarius. It's going to take us all the way back to the end of 2021. And then the retrograde period has been since mid-January. Turning direct and then we complete the whole phase by the beginning of March. So Mercury retrograde as a whole is our ability to reassess, revise, change our mind. And in Aquarius, that's going to require some audacity, some vision, some heightened perspective and a sense of what's coming and what's needed. So trace your journey back. You may have started the year with certain conceptual resolutions, possibly made from the same place that resolutions have always been made. But during this journey, been taken in to find what you really value, where you really, like I say, want to place your vital life force energy. So we come out changed for the better. It's us schooling us, us changing us always with these retrogrades. And had we continued on our original path, we'd end up way out of sync. So this is New Year really. This is where we can focus, energise, ignite and begin to act upon by the end of the week. But before we get to the weekend, on Friday we've got the Sun meeting with Saturn in Aquarius. So Saturn being our backbone, our discipline, our authenticity, there's a chance by the end of the week to really firm up where we're coming from and why before we look at where we want to go with integral values, strong foundation and a simple joyful approach we then head into the weekend, taking our excitement with us and we'll be ready to put a plan together finally because over the last couple of years we've been slowly eased away from thinking and planning first but without any spiritual and emotional core to what we're doing and why. But now we'll be ready to really instigate and act upon and even draw to us some wonderful opportunities and projects because the zigzags of Aquarius are transmit, receive what we're being will now attract so we've had to go through a couple of years of slow down find out really who we are at heart level let go of any dense programming of who we should be realise who we're not but as we step forwards into next week we are the transmitter receivers of our true and unique frequency and if we stay centered in what we care about and what we're passionate about then we'll start to see that manifest in quantum ways that we've never known before so look out for synchronicities calm your mind simplify notice the magic and the messages that you're receiving every day subtle guidance systems from your soul then all we need to do is enjoy and walk through the doors as they open trust your intuition trust your soul feeling as we get the mind to work for us and stabilize the emotions from decades of conditioning we can finally learn to feel more deeply and in a more empowered way what's calling us what's meaningful to us and why we chose to come back here this time. So with all the activity and all the planning coming in, don't forget that this is actually a journey of you getting to know you. Everything starts on the inside first before it's taken outwards. We've escaped that need to be busy and constantly doing, but I do feel that there'll be plenty of excitement and activity that we can put practical energy into as we go forwards into 2022. So if you'd like to see where this is happening for you, I'm available for readings, lessons in astrology, tarot, numerology, and more, and coaching to get rid of blocks, to find your passion and purpose. So do email me, zoehind7 at gmail.com. I post links to these videos on my Instagram, zoehind7, Facebook, AstroZo, and my YouTube channel, has all my videos, Zoe Astro. So get ready this week. Everything is going forwards now. Everything's been simplified. You're shining your light from deep within. We're changing the whole dynamic of how we act. Stepping into 
some really amazing powers as we go forwards. Where you go and what you do is up to you, but to get to know you is the main focus. And with the tiger, things are about to really speed up. So rest and centre this week. And Aquarius's motto is I know, but this really is know thyself. So let that be your walking mantra as we leave the past behind and together we create a bright new future. So those are the horoscopes this week and I'll see you next week.